So you finished creating an amazing React Native project that you created with Expo. It's time you make it available to the rest of the world. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that. So here in front of me, I have Expo open up. You have three options. The first option is running the app from your local machine. If you just click share here, this application is available for anyone to scan from their Expo app, or you can send them a link for them to open it in their phones. However, this app is only going to be available till the time your computer is open. The moment you switch off your computer, this app is closed. So the second option you have is click the publish button here. This will make your experience publicly accessible. Just click on yes. Expo will run a server and React Native on your local machine to bundle up your code and make it available at a remote URL, which will be available to us once this process is complete. Your project is now uploaded and this link is available to us. It's important to note that Expo has also minified all your code and generated two versions, one for Android and one for iOS. It also uploads all your app images, fonts, and videos to a content delivery network from where it is available remotely. Let's click on this link and check it out. So there we have it. My React News app is available to everyone around the world. The user just needs to use his Expo app to scan this barcode or go to this particular link and make it this app is available to download. So we've covered two ways of uploading our Expo app. However, both these ways require the user to have the Expo application installed on their phones to access the app. In a real world situation, that's not how we want our app to be accessed. What we want is we want to upload the respective binaries of our app to the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. The cool thing about Expo is that when we build the binary, the current version of our app JavaScript is bundled so that it loads immediately the first time the app opens. However, we are not going to be tied to that JavaScript version of the app. Once we update our app and we push it again to the server, our apps will be able to get updated over the air without the user having to download the app again from the App Store or click on Update. The way this works on Android and iOS is slightly different. On Android, when the user opens up the app and finds a new version, first the old version is going to be showed to the user while the new version gets downloaded in the background. In iOS, this happens synchronously, and the moment the new version is downloaded, it is displayed to the user. So Apple does not allow us to even build our binary without having a developer account. Google allows us to build our binary without having a developer account, but when we have to publish our app to the app stores, we do need to have our individual developer accounts activated. To get your iOS developer account, go to developer.apple.com and sign in with your Apple ID. It's about $99 per year for the developer account. Whereas in case of Google, you had to play.google.com and sign up for your developer account there. It's about $25 a year. So once we have the account set up, we need to start building the binaries for iOS and Android. The Expo app as of now does not allow us to build the binary from the GUI interface. For that, we need to install EXP. So let's open up item and run npm install g exp exp is the command line tool for expo before we start building our binary let's just have a look at the app.json of our app this is where we make the configuration changes of our application so here the name icon and the version number are mandatory the slug here is basically the url name that your app's javascript is published to so in our case the link is the one here and as we can see the last part of it react news is our slug the SDK version is the version of Expo used to create the application and the bundle identifiers are basically reverse DNS names. They don't actually need to point to your websites, but can just be replaced for anything that makes sense according to you. The Expo website has a complete list of all the configurations available and their explanations. You can head to the website to have a look. Now head to your project folder and boot up the Expo package manager by typing exp start. In my case, the client is already running as I had started it earlier. Next, let's start by building for Android. So let's run exp build colon Android. So in my case, since I had already built my Android project earlier, it did not ask for any configuration settings. But if we head to the Expo documentation, it says here, if you choose to build for Android, It'll ask you, would you like to upload a key store or have one generated for you? So let Expo handle the process for you. 
and it'll upload all the keys required accordingly. And that's actually all that we need to do to build our Android project. We can head to this website here to have a look at the status of our project. And there you can see that it's showing you the build logs and indicating that the project is currently building. Once this is completed, all we need to do is click on download and we'll have our APK file ready for us. So there we can see it took us about nine minutes for the app to get completed and the download link is now available. So to avoid this video from getting too long, what I'll do is in the next video, I'll show you how to build your iOS project and then upload both your Android and your iOS projects to the app store. Till then you guys can try this out.